What's going on guys, it's Cynical and welcome back to another Kingdom Hearts video. Today for you guys, I thought we'd sit down and talk a little bit more about Marluxia. Over these past couple of days, I've been going through all of the Marluxia cutscenes that we have throughout the entirety of the Kingdom Hearts franchise, which really for the most part isn't actually all too much. Marluxia really doesn't have too much screen time uh, in Kingdom Hearts so far. The main amount of cutscenes that we have of Marluxia stems from Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, which is obviously the game where he plays as the antagonist. He also plays a very small role in Kingdom Hearts 358 over two days, but really that's about it. And so that doesn't really give us too much resource to actually work with to try and connect the dots as to why exactly Marluxia is the fifth leader of the Dandelions within Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. And to be honest, through all of the Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories cutscenes, I honestly couldn't find really anything that gives us a bit of insight as to why exactly Marluxia's somebody would be present in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Because for the most part, all of the cutscenes that we see of Marluxia within Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories are to do with the events of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories with, of course, Marluxia using Namine to get to Sora, Marluxia's plans to overthrow the organization, and all the drama that surrounds that. Chain of Memories doesn't really give us too much insight towards any sort of backstory for Marluxia. However, there is actually one line that Marluxia said within Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories that I did find particularly interesting that might give us a slight little hint towards why he might be present in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross. Towards the end of the game, Marluxia makes this comment, Oh, how I've longed to make the Keyblade's power my own. Which is kind of interesting. This sends us the message that Marluxia clearly wants the power of the Keyblade. Now, when looking at Kingdom Hearts Union Cross, we don't exactly know whether or not Marluxia's somebody is actually a Keyblade wielder. Just because Marluxia is now a leader of the Dandelions doesn't necessarily mean that he is a Keyblade wielder. We know for a fact that Ventus, Skulls, and Ephemera are most certainly Keyblade wielders, but even looking at Blaine, once again, we're not too sure if he too also has the power of the Keyblade. And on top of that, Marluxia obviously filled in the spot for what was meant to be for Streliza. Obviously, Marluxia wasn't originally meant to take on that fifth leader position. So, is it possible that Marluxia ended up joining the Dandelions in hope to seek out the power of the Keyblade? Now, we do know that Lady Ava did not pick Marluxia to be the fifth leader of the Dandelions. That spot was obviously meant for Streliza, as of course we see a cutscene where Lady Ava is obviously talking to Streliza, explaining to her that yes, she is to become one of the leaders of the Dandelion group. And so this is where I want to transition onto Blaine, the fourth leader of the Dandelion. Now what's to say that Lady Ava didn't actually pick him as well to be a Dandelion leader? Now we know for a fact that Skold, Ephemera, and as well as Ventus were all picked by Lady Ava to be leaders for the Dandelion group. With Ventus, he actually explains that yes, Lady Ava chose him and spoke to him about this whole Dandelion ordeal, and we see this within his character introduction. But however, when looking at Blaine, he doesn't actually mention anything about Lady Ava even like asking him. Rather, he just kind of turns up, he's clearly already got a law book explaining the laws of being one of the leaders of the Dandelions, and that's pretty much it. Now this could actually be me being like way too over suspicious, but from the judge of character that we have of Blaine right here, he seems to be a pretty mischievous guy, a guy that clearly might be up to no good. And so it got me kind of thinking, what if Marluxia here, as well as Blaine, are actually working together. This leads me on to the point of who exactly is Streliza's killer. With the recent story update, it was portrayed as if perhaps maybe Marluxia's somebody was the person responsible behind Streliza's death. With her dying in one cutscene, and then in the next cutscene, we then see Marluxia's somebody appear, filling in that fifth spot. It seems like a situation where Marluxia killed off Streliza to take that fifth spot. And so I think that's what Square Enix, as of right now, are kind of wanting us to think. But however, what if it's someone else? Maybe someone like Blaine. Now exactly what their grand scheme could be or their big plan, their planning could be, I really have no clue whatsoever. But it kind of seems a little bit fishy where we have two characters in the Dandelion group in which one is obviously part of the Organization 13 in the future and another one looks very, very similar to another member out of the Organization 13. It just kind of seems a little bit too strange. And also the whole notebook thing. I mean, all of the leaders get given this green notebook which explain the laws that 
that the leaders have to abide by, in which I also gather that within the book, it also talks about the world annihilation, the secret that the leaders have to keep from the dandelion. And so once a person actually reads through the book or has obtained the book, does that just automatically make them a leader? Is there actually anything that Lady Ava can do? Because by that point, they already know everything there is to know from the secret that the leaders are keeping from the actual overall dandelion group. And when looking at Malusha's original plans within Organization 13, he wasn't there to follow orders and to listen to Xemnas, but rather he was there to actually overthrow Organization 13. Maybe he's here in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross to do the exact same thing overthrow the dandelion group, and for some reason to meddle and interfere. And so far, if this is actually what is to be planned out, then Malusha clearly has the upper hand, with the rest of the group not actually knowing that Malusha is in fact not really meant to be the fifth leader. But anyway guys, that's all for today. I wanted to sort of ponder into this idea. Uh, I believe that there might be some sort of an alliance between Blaine and Lumaria, but it will certainly be interesting to see where the story progresses from here on in. And to obviously see the reaction from Lady Ava as well and to see what she actually does about this situation. As of right now, there's actually really nothing to go off of in terms of connecting the dots between exactly why Malusha is here in Kingdom Hearts Union Cross and exactly what his grand scheme or plan might exactly be. And so I feel like we need more story progression through Union Cross to explain what the deuce is actually going on. However guys, in the comment section down below, let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions towards today's video. And with all that being said, guys, I've been Cynical, and until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Peace.